Hi, I'm Vanessa Lopez and this is Bite for Bite. Last time we made a breakfast omelet which had baby spinach, tomato, mushroom, Swiss cheese, eggs, basil, dill, sea salt, and black pepper. It's a quick, easy breakfast, uh, protein filled, nutrient packed, easy to go, very delicious. And for lunch, we made a chicken salad, sandwich or salad, whichever you prefer, with celery, red onion, red grape, lettuce, oranges, Dijon mustard, low-fat mayo, lime juice, thyme, rosemary, basil, and walnut, served on a whole wheat bread. Hey Vanessa, thanks for having me over again. So what are you gonna show me how to make today? Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken and vegetable saute. Really easy, really good, and really yummy. So, I guess we could start off. I already chopped some tomatoes, mushrooms, and garlic. Also the red onion, but um, just so you know. I just need to chop another tomato since we can share this with all our friends. We need a lot of tomato. Also, I'm a fan of tomato, so. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And then. So now that that's all chopped, pretty much all I need to do now is take this baby spinach. Mm -hmm. and throw all of these into the pan and saute them. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so all I did was get the pan started on a high and I'm gonna put a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil here just to get it going. Really just a small amount because it just spreads everywhere. As soon as that is in, um, smell it heating up. <laughs> Just throw in the onions and the gar uh, garlic and mushrooms. Huh? Go ahead, throw in the tomato. <laughs> I pretty much just let that sit here and saute for a bit. Till it's ready. Till it's nice and ready, yep. Okay. So, we'll just leave that for a while. While that sautés and cooks, uh, we pulled out some chicken and we just need to season it with some lime juice, sea salt, and black pepper. Okay, All right. you do the Sure, first. go ahead. Yeah. Let's see. Sorry. Thanks. We have our lime presser here. Well, I guess this one's a lemon presser. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> do you need more? Yeah, we can put one more. Let's do one more. Okay. In the meantime, I uh, will put sea salt. Okay. Slightly seasoned. Some black pepper. For some reason, I keep thinking of gushers. <laughs> the fun out of it. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. squeeze the fun out of that one. There we go. Okay, now let's go check on our tomatoes. So, it looks pretty much good to go. Let's just top it off with some of our spinach. There we go. And a lot, a little. You can put it in a lot because when it wilts, it shrinks. So, okay. there we go. Do you like spinach rosé? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that the spinach is nice and wilted. We go. We just put it onto our serving plate. There you go, and we'll leave that there. And in the same pan, we can actually cook the chicken in. Mm. When you 
like five of these myself. Sorry, <laughs> Rose. <laughs> it's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just let that saute in here as well. Alright, so it's almost done. Just gonna flip it. Gauge, make sure you know. This way, the chicken has a nice infused flavor. That one looks good. Okay. okay, it should be ready in a few minutes. All right, and now the chicken's nice and ready. Just serve it on the plate. I like mine a little crispy, so I left it on there a little longer. Yeah. All right, and just for a little more added flavor, just going to put a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar. I put it in the cap just to have control. Okay. And there we go. To get Rosie's stamp of approval? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's delicious. <laughs> Great. And healthy. So. Thanks, Rose. Well, yeah. This is also using the same ingredients we used earlier for the omelet and the so lunch. You can just buy it in bulk. Yep, yeah, buy it in bulk. Really easy, nutritious, everything you can find at your local grocery store. So, and it's easy on the budget. Okay. And for the chicken vegetable saute, we had baby spinach, tomato, red onion, mushroom, also some balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, lime juice, and chicken. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy, delicious dessert. This is Vanessa Lopez on Bite for Bite. Welcome back to Bite for Bite. To accompany our dinner, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, easy dessert. Okay. And what we have here is plain uh, Greek yogurt, and I already poured a cup, which is one serving's worth. Some brown sugar, some gala apples already sliced. We have honey, cinnamon, walnuts, and that's all you really need. Okay, so what I have here is the already sliced um, apples. All you really need to do is just season them a little bit with <laughs> some cinnamon and I just kind of just toss it around okay and then I put a pinch of brown sugar just to give them a nice help bring out the sweetness of the apple that's in there anyway oh thank you and at this point, you can add the walnuts in if you want to do the walnuts, but if you don't, you don't have to. And I'm just going to spray our cooking pan with a little bit of um, cooking spray. Put it in. You might want to do some more. Just that way. I already preheat the oven to 375, so it's good to go. That's all you really need. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. So the oven's preheat at 375. I'm just gonna put it in. Okay. And right now, just look at the time. Check on it in 15 minutes. Uh, so Vanessa, how did you cut the apple up? Oh, um, that's actually really easy, Rosie. I'll show you. So what I did first, I washed the apple and then I took out the um, the pit and everything and you just cut it in half okay and then I take this melon baller <laughs> and just scoop out the core see 
and then it takes out the core. Real easy. A lot easier than the way I used to do it, so. Okay. And from there, you know, you just slice it. All right, and here we have it. Just our apples, nice and tender, fresh out of the oven. See, nice and caramelized. So we, all we have to do is add them into our mix. Here we go. And top it off with a little bit of honey. There we go. And that's dessert. You want to try? Might a little. Mix it up. Mix it up a little bit. Take it all this mine. And remember, you can always um, add the walnuts in now or later. Or if you want something even quicker, you don't have time to bake it. Just chop up the apples real small and throw it all in right away. Add the cinnamon, the brown sugar, and the honey. And remember, um, if you don't have time to bake it in the oven, just chop up the apples real quick, season them if you'd want, throw it all in the bowl, mix it real quick, real easy. Uh, walnuts are always optional. All right. And uh, just to recap, the Greek yogurt, why I chose Greek yogurt over air, frozen yogurt or ice cream. Uh, Greek yogurt is lower in calories, higher in protein, lower in fat, and sugar compared to everything else. And uh, honey is actually a great immune system builder. It's great for energy and tastes good. Well, and apples is also an antioxidant. Thanks for having me over to show me all these healthy meals, Vanessa. You're welcome. Thanks for coming over, Rosie. And thank you for watching Bite for Bite. I'm Vanessa Lopez. And I'm Rosie Ricalde. Productions.